My early concept of St. Francis was what I could gather from, from garden scenes where you have the stone monk with the pigeon or the, the dove going, you know, with some, maybe some John Michael Talbot playing in the background. Um, and what I discovered on my journey before, long before I was Catholic was that he was a radical in his time and, uh, he, challenged the status quo but in a way that would be restorative and um he was he was broken but he allowed that brokenness to uh in inspire and inform how he reached the broken people in the world and so saint francis and his friend clara of assisi became uh, two big voices uh, for me in coming into the church and seeing that you can actually see the brokenness of the, of the church and listen to the heart of Jesus who said, come and repair my church that's in ruins and not break away from it and start your own thing, but instead go in as deep as you can and be as real as you can to bring real healing where it's needed most. I looked around after spending my childhood as a pastor's kid going from church to church post uh, church splits uh, and then seeing fractured church pain in, in the Protestant expressions. Um, I was looking for other ways besides let's start our own thing, <laughs> uh, to, to address what was real. It's obvious you can't live on this earth without identifying, um, leadership failures and brokenness and disagreements that are legitimate. But what do you do? What do you do with that brokenness? And Francis offered an alternative, um, way to bring restoration. Um, instead of throwing everything out and starting your own thing, embedding yourself and taking on the pain of the, the brokenness and allowing that to shape your own self. And, um, it was an incarnational option instead of a, um, an option that required divorce. And that was very, um, it was new to me, but it was also healing just a, imagine that that kind of an approach can work even if though it cost him everything it still worked and we still know him today one of the things that i really appreciate about francis's life and his writings is that when he saw brokenness he didn't try and brush it away he didn't say that's a justification for starting something completely new but instead he ran to it he faced it head on called it what it was and then modeled the opposite and he he confronted it in a way that would be restorative and it it, sh it was shocking some of the things that he did were shocking um but he didn't do it just for the shock value he did it to wake people up and get them out of the status quo and he did it in a way that would um stimulate a response that would bring healing and not further fracture and that is something that was a refreshing uh, challenge for me because all I saw was, well, this is broken, therefore we need to start something new and fracture begot fracture begot fracture. And so Francis's approach of really being incarnational and going into the brokenness and modeling, um, even if it shocks and disrupts, modeling uh, that that disruption can be what inspires the healing was a radical, um, refreshing challenge. <laughs>